What's going on, family? This is Keith Murray in the video, man. We're going to talk about this. About how this woman tried to, you know, force him to say who he was on camera, pretty much to expose him to the world when he's down and out. You know, trying to make him sing for $20. But you can clearly see he knew that he was being filmed and he didn't like it because he knew what she was trying to do. He kind of understood it because you can hear him saying, you know, why are you filming me? But let's talk about this dirt bag. Let's get into it. Huh? Don't film you? Guys, look who it is. It's Keith Murray. Why are you filming me? Cause you're famous. You're cool. Do you want money? Yes. You want money? Yes. How much? How much money will you give me? Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Okay. So let me just record you real quick. Why are you recording? Cause you keep Murray. Okay. I don't understand. You really keep Murray? Yes. Can you sing something? Huh? Can you sing? Rap something? Yeah. Huh? Excuse me. You want twenty dollars? Yes. So rap. Huh? Rap. I don't understand what she, why are you filming me? Huh? Why are you filming me? Who are you? So you see Keith Murray in a different situation that we're used to seeing him in. Um you've seen Keith Murray in the past with in some altercation videos you know things like that but you've never seen him like this and um it's clear he's he's what we would say he, he kind of fell from hip-hop glory so to speak right so this woman i guess she she must have discovered him somewhere i'm not even sure where this video was filmed at she saw him somewhere and uh she thought it was good to pull out the camera and not you know not in a good way man she didn't pull it out to embrace the brother um she pulled it out to kind of humiliate humiliate him to the world and and try to make him uh do a do a bow jangle for for 20 dollar bill man you know i thought that was very disrespectful man it is not not because not not because it's keith murray you know who he was one of the best rappers coming up man up uh, up in the 90s, you know, the, the the mid to late 90s, but to anybody, it could have been any any human being in that situation, man. To be, you can't just give the person and, and, and help them out. You gotta make them do something to condescend. You gotta, you know, be you know, gotta dangle a carrot in front of a motherfucker. I I I don't like people like that, man. Because it's like, who are you? You know, who are you? You can be. In, in certain situations just like that man one thing i learned is you know you can be up one minute and then down the next and then you can also be down on your luck and you know about to be put out your house or whatever the case is and then out of nowhere you come across a windfall so you got to be very careful man how you treat people out here man you gotta you know be you know be kind as you can to people man you just never know you know you can miss your blessing for you doing stuff like this man you know she didn't, definitely didn't have to do this to the brother man and um i had no idea keith murray was going through this you know so, someone say he, he looks like he's on drugs i i don't know I, i'm not here i'm not there to speculate that but you remember that that scene from uh uh the five hard beats man when he came back around and he was like, like, type like this, I wish raindrops would fall. That that that, that kind of gave me them kind of vibes, man. I was like, damn. And I'll be real, that part of that movie is funny as hell for some reason. It makes, a lot of people say that they they like, damn, we shouldn't laugh, but see, that's a movie. So it's kind of okay to laugh at that because it's a movie. But even though the situation is sad, but it's still a movie. It's not real. 
But the Keith Murray thing, that's very real. And I don't think that's nothing to laugh at. The brother need help. And, you know, hopefully he get it, man. I pray for Keith Murray, you know, and his family. And one other thing I want to touch on about being homeless, or, or I, I don't know if he's homeless because I see a lot of people on videos, on these videos, they're saying that he's homeless. I, I don't know. But um, so you ever, you ever look at a homeless person sometimes and say, well, damn, man. What do they really have to worry about besides, like, really staying warm or eating? They don't have to worry about bills, having to always feed the rat, you know, run the rat race. And then when they stop running the rat race, you know, you become outside just like them for the most part. You know, not all the, not all the time, but if you're living in that lifestyle where you got to upkeep everything, that's stressful. You know, going out chasing fiat money is, you know... It, and keeping up with the Joneses and all of that stuff. And if you don't pay this, your light bill go off. If you don't do this, you, your water get cut off. If you don't pay this, they, they evict you. Or, you know, you don't pay your mortgage, you don't pay your property tax. You know, all, all this stuff that most of us got to worry about, they don't have to worry about that shit. And then, but we, some people look at them and, and thumb their noses down at them like, like they're on their high horse or something. And they live in their best life when you think about it. They free. They free. They're not bound to nothing. So when you really think about it, they're living their best life. And um, I be thinking sometimes a lot of people be jealous that homeless people don't have to get up and punch a clock and shit like that. Man, I be thinking like that sometimes. But nonetheless, man, shout out to Keith Murray, man. I wish him the best. I hope he, come, I hope he prosper and, and fight through his battles. And get back to where he was, or you know, he he get he can do something with the game, you know, uh, get into a, a record, make his own label, anything, something like that. You know, I just don't want to see. I hate seeing some of the our best our best hip hop legends in situations like this, man. And where's all of the where's all the other hip hop heads that was in his generation, like reaching out to him, not just to help him financially. But to help him, mentor him, talk to him, hug him, you know, shit like that. But I don't know, man. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all for listening. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all later.